He's reported extensively on climate change. Talk about the connection between these more powerful hurricanes and climate change. I like to think about like a baseball batter. So someone who can, who's got a long ball, he can put it all the way out there all right. and hits a couple of home runs a year. And if you took steroids, ah. he can hit the ball longer and he can put the ball out of the park. That's sort of what climate change does to big storms. It sort of juices the odds and it makes it more likely that someone can actually, you know, hit a home run or we might have some extreme weather like this, particularly when we're talking about these hurricanes, because hurricanes feed off of warm water. And as we've warmed up our uh, atmosphere, that has gone into the ocean water. The ocean water is now warmer. So when these hurricanes come up, it doesn't cause the hurricane, but as the hurricane comes up, there's more warm water, which is the fuel that makes these hurricanes stronger. So we've kind of juiced the odds that it's more likely to get an extreme hurricane that has more rainfall in it, like Hurricane Harvey or wildfires or things like that. How, David, how, how do scientists uh, discern the difference between a you know a changing weather pattern right. which does change right. and actual climate change it's a great question and there's excellent science on this and they call these attribution studies and so what they do is they build two computer models the first computer model will have all these factors that are happening now you have changes to the land changes to the sea changes to the atmosphere mm -hmm. and also all the carbon dioxide that we've released into the atmosphere over all these years and then they build a second model with all those other things, except they remove all the carbon dioxide because they know almost exactly how much we've released since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. So you run those two things side by side and here comes Hurricane Ida, mm -hmm. and you can then say, oh, well, it looks different. We haven't had one of these studies yet for Hurricane Ida, but it looks different when you remove all the carbon dioxide. So if that's the one factor that remains, that's how they can start looking at how the climate change has influences, doesn't cause, influences these extreme events. All right, real quickly, what, what do scientists want to be the takeaway here for us? I think if you talk to any scientist that studies climate change, it's all of these things are going to continue mm -hmm. permanently, unless we make some change, a, ma a, ma a major change to how much carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere. We have these lines, they just continue to go up and up and up. And if you don't change it, mm -hmm. you're gonna keep getting the same thing. So it's about these global efforts, honestly, that kind of blow people's minds, but these global efforts, and they have a big impact on places like Texas, where we emit a lot of carbon dioxide and we make a lot of energy. So any big changes that happen at the national level are gonna have a major impact here as well. Oh, you talk about that, the line going up, you look at the, the wildfires, the flooding, oh, the yeah. price tag keeps going up Absolutely. Uh, as Absolutely. well. Absolutely.